Hi guys, it's Melanie. Happy Sunday. I hope you are having a great day. Today I'm going to be sharing my second root candle review with you and today's video is the pineapple papaya. Last Sunday um, I did review the other candle that Root sent out to me which was the lilac sage. If you are someone who is a floral candle lover you'll definitely want to check out that review. I will link it in the description box for you. Uh, but today we're going to be talking about something totally different. Um, today we're talking about a fruity candle, which I normally actually don't really like either. I mentioned in last Sunday's video that I'm much more of a gourmand or bakery candle type of person, but I have to admit that this candle right here has totally blown me away. And I'm really surprised that I like it as much as I do because, like I said, I don't normally go for fruity candles. There are some that I like, but it's not my typical go-to fragrance. So this size that I'm showing you here, by the way, is the Large Vera Glass. Unfortunately, right now on the website, I'm not seeing this particular size. They do have the Small Vera Glass, which is $14.00. They also have the Queen Bee Large and Queen Bee Medium, as well as the Votives and a Travel Tin. So I will, I will of course link this candle down below for you so you can go check it out. But those are the sizes that are currently available. They might get the uh, Large Vera Glass in stock again. This is my favorite size from Root Candle because I feel like the Root Candles burn a really long time to start with. Beeswax is a much longer burning wax. Um, but this one I feel like is a great burn time. It's probably right around like 80 to 90 hours, maybe a little bit more. It's, it's a good burn time for honestly the amount of wax that you're getting here. So let's go ahead and, um, let's talk about the fragrance because they have a really nice description of it. Um, that I think is really, really interesting. So this falls into their fruit category, obviously. Uh, so their description is tropical and sweet. The pineapple is unique in its pollination as the seeds, if not pollinated, actually damage the flowers. Combined with the heady scent of papaya, this fragrance will deliver you to the tropics. And that's really what this is, you guys. This honestly really sort of reminds me of like Hawaii, or like just any kind of tropical uh, location, to be completely honest. It's so fresh and so fruity. And pineapple is not normally a fragrance that I like in like this sort of artificial format, if you will. So I love the smell of fresh pineapple, but I typically don't like pineapple in either candles or wax melts. There is something about it that just always smells off to me, and I cannot put my finger on what it is, but it's almost sickeningly sweet. I think that's probably the problem with most artificial pineapple fragrances, but this is truly the truest form of pineapple, like the most authentic pineapple that I have ever smelled in wax format. It smells exactly like the inside of a really sweet, really ripe pineapple. It's amazing, you guys. It, the pineapple definitely is the predominant note here. That papaya, which is a much more like rich, um, almost like a heavier, fruity scent, if that makes sense. Really, it, it that papaya takes second stage to pineapple in this. Like, it's there and you can detect it, but this is really much more of a pineapple fragrance. This is such a perfect summer scent, you guys. In fact, once I'm done doing this review, I'm probably gonna end up saving this candle for like the July, August time, because I think that that is definitely when it's going to be most appropriate. It is the perfect summertime scent, you guys. I can imagine lighting this like on a sunny summer afternoon and it just like totally transporting you to a different locale. Like 
it really is one of those fragrances that makes you think that you are in another place. It's so authentic. It's so good. It is definitely sweet, but it's not cloyingly sweet. Um, it's just a true, fruity, fresh, summertime fragrance. That's really all that I can say about it. This is only my second burn. Typically, I like to do at least two or three burns before reporting back on a candle, but I never have any burn issues with any of my root candles. They do take a longer time to pull out, which I'm just, I know that, and I'm okay with that. It's a candle that I will light um, when I know I have several hours to dedicate to burning. Um, the wax is really neat. Um, it's a beautiful daffodil yellow shade. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it's a beautiful yellow. It's very bright, very sunny. Um, the wax looks almost like molten lava when you, when it gets a full pool going, it, it bubbles a little bit. Beeswax is really a neat wax. I don't have any issues with sooting with my root candles. I don't have any burn issues of them burning lopsided. They always burn right down the middle as long as you take the time to let them pull out to the edge completely with each burn. You will never have an issue with them. Someone had mentioned in my last video that I did about the Lilac Sage that you know, maybe I could put an Illumilid on there. I would not want to do that. I don't think it needs an Illumilid. It pulls out just fine. Yes, it does take longer, but um, I'm really hesitant to use Illumilids on other candles besides just the Yankee candles because I know that they're made for that particular brand. I don't know if it would cause the wax to get too hot if I put an Illumilid on this. Um, I just don't want to mess with you know what it is like it just it burns perfectly fine on its own it just takes a little bit longer so I would suggest not using an Illumilid but if you must maybe just wrap a little bit of tin foil around it to help with the overall pooling but you know for me I just I enjoy it for what it is it just takes a little bit of time so two thumbs up for me. Um, oh, let me tell you guys about the strength in the throat. So the strength I would put at a solid like six, six and a half. It's not crazy strong, but I don't think I would want it to be. I feel like it could potentially be headache inducing, especially since it's a stronger fruit scent. Um, and the throw is a solid six, six and a half as well. So it really does beautifully scent the room that you're in and it starts to kind of travel outside of that room. But root candles are not going to be like Bath & Body Works candles. They're not going to be like some Goose Creek candles where you can put them in the middle of your house and expect it to like waft into every single corner of your, say like 2,000 square foot home. It's not gonna happen, you guys. These are a much more boutique, like I would say room specific type of candle but they're gorgeous you guys and they make the most beautiful gift because they're just beautifully presented and um anyone that gets these would definitely think that you spent a fortune on the candle so um again i'm gonna go ahead and link the coupon code that root candle sent out to all of the candle reviewers um that information will be in the description box it'll save you 40 percent off your purchase and i believe that expires the middle of march so you have a couple more weeks to think about the order that you want to place. And I do think as of right now, they are still doing the free shipping off of $75 or more. And I know most of you candle people, when you're placing an order, um, you know, you usually try to meet the free shipping. So with that 40% off, it's really going to allow you to try a few different candles. So Take a look at the Root Candle website. They've got some beautiful stuff right now um, besides just the two candles that I have shown you. And um, yeah, just go take a peek, see what else they have. And if anybody has any other suggestions of Root Candles that are must tries, definitely um, go ahead and put them down below in the comments section for anybody else that might be looking for some other candle suggestions. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.